This is the new BMW M4 CSL. It is BMW M Division's 50th birthday present to itself, and it could well be the best M car BMW has ever built. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why, because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. This new M4 CSL is essentially the spiritual successor to the E46 M3 CSL and actually I went to the original unveiling of that car and they gave all journalists this little kind of carbon fibre roof, it was like a miniature version of what the car had because a carbon fibre roof, that was the first time you got one on an M3, I actually sold that thing on eBay for about 300 quid. I probably wasn't supposed to do that, but I did. For the M4 CSL though, BMW has upped their carbon fibre game. Obviously the standard car gets a carbon fibre roof, so they had to go quite a bit beyond that. So the new car has a carbon fibre bonnet and bits of the paintwork are exposed so you can see the weave underneath. You've got a carbon fibre front splitter, carbon fibre side skirts. You've got a carbon fibre boot lid and on that boot lid is a ducktail spoiler, just like the ducktail spoiler on the M3 CSL. There are some other changes for the M4 CSL. For instance, the grille has less veins in it than the standard car. There's also red accents around the grille itself, on the side skirts and on the bonnet. And BMW are actually using their old BMW M badge design around the BMW logo on the bonnet and elsewhere on the car, like they use on the old three litre CSL Batmobile. Finally, the changes are completed by some new brake light designs which have a sort of ribbon effect to them. Yellow in the headlights, just like on the M5 CS, and some exclusive paint schemes, such as this frozen Brooklyn grey. Underneath that carbon fibre bonnet is the same three litre twin turbo straight six you get in a normal M4 competition. However, BMW have fiddled with the car's ECU to increase boost pressure. As a result, you get 550 horsepower instead of the standard competition's 510 horsepower. Torque is the same, 650 Newton meters. However, the M4 CSL holds onto its peak torque for 450 revs longer. That engine sends power to the rear wheels only. There is no X-Drive version of the CSL and the gearbox is the same as in the standard M4. So it's an eight speed ZF with a torque converter, but it does have launch control. Just like the standard car, you've got a switchable exhaust system which you can make louder. And the back box on the CSL is made out of titanium which helps save weight but also increases the sound quality. Let's talk about performance. BMW says the M4 CSL will do 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, which is 0.2 of a second quicker than an M4 competition. However, I've timed a normal M4 competition and did 0 to 60 this quickly. Wow, that hooked up really well for a rear wheel drive car only. Wow! 3.66 to 60! So I'm predicting that this M4 CSL will do 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Yeah, I did the maths. Now I'm going to be sure to check that when I finally get the car to test drive and to make sure you don't miss that video, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on and that way you'll be alerted when I've reviewed the car and upload the video. Now the M4 CSL is not only faster at accelerating the standard car, it also has a higher top speed. 191 miles an hour, which is 11 miles an hour more than an M4 competition can do. It's also the quickest production BMW round the Nürburgring with a time of seven minutes, 20 seconds. Never ever mention the Nürburgring, Matt. You know what happens. Uh -huh. Is the question old? BMW has fitted the M4 CSL with some unique wheels. Just like on the standard M4 competition, they're the same size. So 19 inches at the front, 20s at the rear. However, the CSL has lighter, stronger forge alloys, which you can't get on any other BMW. They also come as standard with Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires. Brilliant for the track. Little bit crap on a wet, cold road. So if you'd rather have some more sedate tires, BMW will fit those instead as a non-cost option. What's also no extra cost are carbon ceramic brakes because the CSL gets them as standard, whereas on a normal M4 competition, they're part of an £8,000 pack. Now, great thing about carbon ceramics is that they improve your braking performance on track and they reduce the unsprung mass of the car by 14 kilos. Oh, and they also come with red brake calipers. Snazzy. BMW has upgraded the CSL's interior to make it feel more sporty. For instance, they've got rid of the rear seats to help save some weight, and instead you just get some nets which can hold your helmet. 
Anyway, there's also lots of carbon fiber, got carbon fiber strip on the dash and a carbon fiber center console, which means that the center console is actually half the weight of the standard car center console. There's also a fire extinguisher and unlike some other brands which strip out their cars entirely, you still get a normal BMW infotainment system, but it does have some CSL logos and a full 10 speaker stereo. Changes to the M4 CSL aren't just about the looks or the engine's performance or the brakes, it's also about the handling. So BMW has reworked the suspension. Also the car sits eight millimeters lower to the ground. There's stiffer anti-roll bars. They've also altered the geometry on the car. There's more camber on the front wheels. So they'll give you slightly better cornering grip. And the shock tower brace is beefier to make the car more rigid. Meanwhile, at the back, they've just removed the bushings between the subframe and the body. So it's just hard mounted. So the ride is probably gonna be a little bit firmer than on the standard car. They do still, like the standard car, get adaptive dampers. To help keep you in place when you're making the most of those suspension upgrades, the CSL comes with some sporty bucket seats. The design is very similar to the ones that you get on the M3 and the M4 competition as an option, and I love those seats on my M3 competition. However, the ones in the M4 CSL, the, the backrest doesn't move. You can't even flop it forward to allow access to the rear, but then I suppose you don't need to go in there apart from to fiddle with your helmet. Anyhow, <laughs> I've got to stop this, haven't I? Anyhow, <laughs> the seats, they do slide forwards and backwards, but if you want to raise them up or lower them down, you have to go to a BMW dealer and a man with a special tool will alter the height of them for you. Now, someone in the office said you have to be a special tool to come up with that idea for some seats, but I don't agree, yeah? Neither do you, do you, if you're a BMW fanboy? Yeah. Also, you should be aware that the seats don't have anything like lumbar support or heating or cooling. So how much weight has BMW saved exactly? Well, the use of those Focus Sport seats saves this much weight. The removal of the rear seat saves this much weight. The use of carbon fiber throughout the car has saved this much weight. That titanium back box has saved that much weight. The carbon ceramic brakes have saved this much weight. Less sound insulation has saved this much weight. And then some other bits and pieces I can't quite remember have saved this much weight. That means, in total, the M4 CSL is this much lighter than the standard car. That's quite a saving. For some reason for the M4 CSL, BMW has removed the rear cross-traffic alert and self-parking systems. Though you can pay extra to have them added back in. However, they have thrown in for free the M Drive Professional Pack, which is optional on the M4 competition, which includes the M Traction Control System, which allows you to alter the sensitivity of the traction control. Normally it has 10 different settings, and with the M4 CSL, it still has 10 different settings. And the first five settings are the same as on the normal M4 competition. However, the last five settings, which go towards the off direction, are different. They allow a bit more slip angle, a bit more fun. Though, just like with the M4 competition, Competition. You can turn everything off if you just want to do it yourself. You've got to be careful though, you don't want to be crashing your M4 CSL because if you write it off, you might find it hard to get another one. Only 1,000 will ever be built and only 100 are coming to the UK, so it's going to be rare. But then you know it's going to be expensive as well. Side price £126,000. That's only £5,000 less than a Porsche 911 GT3. Though to be fair, an Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio GTAM costs £150,000. And if I'm brutally honest, I thought that the normal M3 drove better than that car anyway. Sorry if I'm fanboying again, but there you go. Still, M4 CSL, if you want one, put your name down now because production starts in July. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there, to go to CarWow to see how much money you can save on a new car.